air pollution has a great deal of interest worldwide due to its negative impact on human health and welfare. Air pollution causes certain dreadful diseases like shortness of breathing, sore throat, chest pain, nausea, asthma, bronchitis and lung cancer. The severe effects of air pollution lead to high blood pressure and cardiovascular problems. In the year 2007, World Health Organization, WHO, had stated that each year 2.4 million people die because of the ill effects of air pollution. In addition to this, air pollution also causes injuries to animals, forests and vegetation, aquatic ecosystems, etc. The effect of air pollution on metals, structures, leather, rubber and fabrics causes cracks, soiling, deterioration and erosion. Now, let us discuss some of the negative effects that are caused by these pollutants. The following are some of the negative effects caused by various pollutants. Particulate matter, hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide poisoning. Click each tab to know more. Particulate matter. Dust and smoke particles spoil our clothes, reduce the visibility and also affect the buildings. Dust and smoke get deposited on the leaves of the plants. This affects the process of photosynthesis and transpiration in plants. These particles cause diseases like bronchitis, asthma in human beings. Particles of lead oxide present in automobile exhaust causes anemia, brain damage and even sometimes lead to death. Particles of mercury causes minimata disease which affects the nervous system and can result in death. Hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide tarnishes a thin layer of corrosion on metals like silver objects and blackens lead paints and paintings. It smells like rotten eggs. When humans inhale this hydrogen sulfide in large quantities, then we get a headache. Carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas. It is released from the exhaust of industries, vehicles, etc. When this carbon monoxide combines with the hemoglobin of our blood, it forms a stable compound called carboxyhemoglobin. The formation of this compound obstructs the hemoglobin from carrying oxygen to various parts of our bodies. This leads to respiratory problems in human beings. It causes suffocation and, at times, results in death. 